Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and today we're testing a 4.7 GHz overclock on the i5, no, i5, i7-5820K. I have optimized my um, fan profiles to be more silent, because somehow <laughs> that's not going to boot, I don't think. Woo. Um, I got 4.5 GHz up just fine, and I made it quieter in the process, and this isn't coming on. Hmm. Reset. Let's try 4.6. I'm at 1.375. Just to be safe, I should bring it down if I can, but 4.7 looks like it was not going to happen. At least not on all cores. Smash the delete key is always the way. Yep, 1.375, for some reason going to 1.39 something. A tweaker. 4.7 obviously did not work, so 4.6. I could always up the voltage, but I don't want to go any higher than that. Because <laughs> I remember when I tried to do like the first core 5 gigahertz, the next one 4.7, then 4.5, and 4.4. On the last cores of the 4790K at 1.5 or 1.6 volts, something you should never do. And then cache frequency. Uh, I don't know how to. How is that usually calculated? No power saving mode. Uh, should I have that on? Maybe, but I don't care. So. Exit, we're going to see if it can even get into Windows. So what I did is I swapped the CPU and CPU optional fan. Um, header placement things. One controls the two fans on the H105 and the other controls the pump. I have swapped them to make it so that the pump runs faster. And the fans run quieter. I think it makes a healthy balance. At least it didn't blue screen. So how I'm going to test this is run Cinebench three times. Make sure it doesn't explode. And then run Intel Burn Test once at standard. That's already a pretty high mode thing. And there we go. It's up and running and not dead. I'm going to close some of these things out. So that it can not be distracted by them with Intel. Like Intel doesn't have to run them. I'm not overclocking the graphics card or anything in these tests it is purely CPU based close steam even and benchmark stuffs here we go Cinebench R15 the cinema for the benchmark and at 4.5 my score was 1268 Okay, so just going to run the CPU side, and if it doesn't implode on itself in these three tests all in a row, then I will call it six successful. If it does, then I'll dial it back to 4.5 since that was relatively stable. The voltage need, needed to be, you know, cleaned up a bit, but, you know, it was overall stable. And out of focus, I'm sorry. I look at the screen and not at the phone. Which is why I like the camcorder, it autofocuses so I don't have to. And I wish the phone did too, but it's annoying. And it went down. Woo. Whatever, run again. I don't know how it goes down sometimes. It doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense. How do you go down? Is it unstable? Answer, probably.
There we go, 1294, that's higher. One more time. And before I had the CPU fans on silent, now I have them on standard because only until it gets up to the higher range does it actually take effect. And most of the time I'm gaming or doing editing, which only gets loud when it's rendering. And even so, it's not maxing out the CPU, it's variable. And 1285 that time. So it's still higher than last time. Yeah. Yeah. And now, Intel Burn Test is the next way to go. And as I said, doing the standard run. If it passes this, I will do either high or ex extreme. So now it will get loud and hot. Core temp, tell me your stuff. The temperatures do get up there. <laughs> I think core temp needs to update. There is no update. I guess I have to download it myself because it's not noticing the lithography. Okay, it was found to be unstable. I guess that's the point because it was getting up there in temperature. So it passed the 4.5 test flawlessly. 4.6 seems to be unstable, giving us lower scores than usual in Cinebench, and burn test saying flat out it's unstable. So let's dial it back down. Turn on the voltage too. I had it at 3.5, 1.3.5 before, I'm pretty sure. Ninety-one degrees is, I believe, the threshold before it starts to throttle back. So that's what I want to avoid. I'm turn back down the voltage. It was at one point three seven five. One point three five. Five. Okay, let's do that. Oh, you can't see. There you go. 1.35. I'll clean it up later. I just want to make sure it'll still boot fine. So much quieter when it gets down to idle. It could be quieter if I set every fan to be off when there's nothing going on, but most of the fans are actually hooked up to the rear fan controller, and they don't have the option to shut it off there. They can only be on low, medium, or high. And it's through DC voltage, not PWM. If I could type in my passcode right, that would be really good. There we go. I gotta sort out the file which it takes some time to boot up now. I was thinking of defragmenting all the drives, but that would mean the SSD and the SSD doesn't really need to be defragged because it's a SSD. Close all these things. Close all the things. So throw the fans up once again. Send a bench. Just gonna run it one, one time to keep the video short. It's already 10 minutes long. Just to make sure it won't commit suicide on itself once again. I 
and you can see here that under normal usage it only gets up to about 70. 71 is the hottest score right now. And I'm pretty sure it will be slower. 1252, not that much slower. Oh, I hit run again. Whatever. I don't think I can easily cancel it, so let's just let it do the thing. Four fifty nine. Until burn test is the next step in the standard test. Now, core temp, what do you tell? Highest core is no longer 90, it's now 86. I'm sure with some voltage tuning I can get everything to stay below 80 or 85. Intel burn test is a, a program that really pushes the compute power to the max. And no longer getting an unstable message, which is really good. And the hottest core that has been hot was at 87. Other cores are in the 70s or low 80s. Hmm. Now I'm getting this message. What? Voltage did I have this at before? I wonder. Because it passed before with flying colors. I shall figure it out. 4.5 was stable below 3.7 volts. Or 1.37 volts. I shall find out what happened and maybe post an update in the future. Until then, thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time.